first the pectoralis major. Let's take the first three letters and the M of major to make its attachments of bones as the following. The P for the humerus is the humerus looks like the letter P. The same for E it looks like the sternum and costal cartilage with the ribs. The C for the clavicle. And the M for the external oblique aponeurosis. It is a thick, fan-shaped muscle, situated at the chest of the human body. The letters in the red is considered the origins of the pectoralis as the following. First the clavicular head from the medial half of the anterior surface of the clavicle. Second the sternocostal head from the, the anterior surface of the sternum in the first six costal cartilages of the ribs. And from the aponeurosis of the external oblique. Then the letter in blue resembles the insertion in the lateral lip of the bicipital groove of the humerus. It has nerve supply from medial and lateral pectoral nerves. As for the actions it is better to understand them the insertion will move toward origin. All of them are inward movements. Adduction mainly by sternocostal head. Flexion by clavicular head. And internal rotation. Next is the pectoralis minor. It is a small triangular muscle lying under the middle third of pectoralis major. It arises from three ribs starting from the third rib just lateral to their costal cartilages and inserts into minor small circle of scapula the coracoid process its medial border and upper surface. It has nerve supply of medial pectoral nerve only unlike major as it is smaller. As for actions it works mainly on the scapula. It pulls it forward, protraction, and depresses the scapula, scapula. Finally the subclavius it is a small muscle lying immediately below the clavicle. It is easy to remember from its name. It arises from the first rib at its junction with costal cartilage and inserts into inferior middle surface of the clavicle. Its nerve supply from nerve to subclavius branching from brachial plexus. It has no clear action it protects the subclavian vessels from clavicle fracture.